Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. People from whatever whatever this region, cadres from whatever this region, they are the ones that are ruling the country. They are the ones that are ruling the country. Avena once Avena, Avena Mwinde, Avena Kre, Amasak, and whatever, whatever. I mean, come on, guys, come on. So this is why Munia Zulu is reacting. This is why Munia Zulu is reacting. He's saying, no, it's too much. It's too much. Why should you continue abusing us when we are the majority? It's not that they are failing tribalism. It's not that they are failing tribalism. No, they are making you realize to say, please, to a papata. Don't bring war in our country. That's basically what they are talking about. That's basically what they are talking about. But Hakai Nechirema wants to frustrate everything. He wants to frustrate everything. He wants to frustrate also Edgar Lungu. He has seen that Edgar Lungu is poised to be the next president again. He has seen Hakai Nechirema knows. Hakai Nechirema knows that if Edgar Lungu were to contest an election with him, he knows that he doesn't stand a chance. That is why he's victimizing Edgar Lungu. He's victimizing Edgar Lungu by arresting the family, by arresting the wife. It is very, very sad. And by the way, happy belated birthday, uh, 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 Mama. Happy belated birthday. I know yesterday was your birthday. And I was looking about it. I was looking and I was reflecting. I just prayed for you. I just prayed for you. I couldn't even say anything. I said, this woman is going through a lot. Surely, I mean, you know, when I heard, first of all, because some of you might not have realized this, when I heard that uh, 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 the, the, the first family is being called to, uh, to deck, okay, I was thinking that maybe they have come up with new cases. I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't even know. Those of you who are watching, if you have even followed what cases they have brought before the first lady and the children. I don't know if you, have, if you have realized. They have brought no new cases. There are no new cases. There are no new cases. These are the cases that have been there, that they have been talking about. They have been going round, round, round. These are the cases of the 15 flats. These are the cases of Tasila, Tasila Lungu's uh, farm and uh, vehicle. These are the cases of Chieso's house. These are the cases that they have brought. And look, it's like they want to punish these people twice. They went to court and grabbed those properties without trying them. You see? They went to court without trying them. Ordinarily, what is supposed to happen is that they are supposed to take them to court to say, look, you have got these proceeds of crime. You have got these proceeds of crime. And, you know, run through that trial until the state proves the case to say, indeed, these are proceeds of crime. Okay? Then they go and forfeit them. Uh -huh. This is what they're supposed to do. Tayari, we have found you with this phone. We believe this phone is a proceed of crime. So the best thing that they should do is to take me to court and they prove that this phone is a proceed of crime. After that, that's when they are supposed to forfeit the, the phone. But what, the, what this government of Aka in the Ichirema did, because they are the law, they started by grabbing the phone. They grabbed the phone. This phone is a proceed of crime. And they got it without any trial, eh? Because the trial that was there, it's nothing. They just got, they got, they got. They are, they, uh, uh, Gilbert Peary just did an affidavit. I believe that these, these crime, these whatever, they are proceeds of crime. They grabbed. After they grabbed that, now they are saying, we have got evidence. You see? We have got evidence from court 
that these were stolen. Out of a, 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 a soiled, a soiled trial or a soiled justice. That's what they want now to use criminally to say, yeah, it doesn't happen like that. There is nothing. And you know, if from the way, imagine the way the UPND talk, spoke about corruption. The way they spoke about corruption, it's like Edgar Lungo and his government, they were stealing left, right and center and they were stealing big monies. If indeed that was true, why haven't they found that money on Edgar Lungo? Why? Why are we talking about 15 flats? Tell me, how many people have 15 flats? How many people have 15 flats? How many people have more than that? There are a lot of people. Surely, what is 15 flats? What is 15 flats? What is 15 flats? What is 15 flats? What is a farm, a bare land? What is, what is that? Eh? For somebody, like I say, like Eddie Garungo was saying, for somebody who was a prominent lawyer, after, becoming, after being a prominent lawyer, he went in, uh, he went into politics and, you know, was part of the ruling party. In 2011, Edgar Lungu was deputy minister. Deputy minister uh, in the ministry of, uh, not in the ministry, in the, of, in the vice president. Eh? From there, he became a full minister. A full minister, he became a justice or whatever. I mean, surely. And then he became president for seven years. For seven years, how much does a president get every month? How much does a president get? And he doesn't buy food. He doesn't buy fuel. Honestly, can he fail to, to, to have those properties that he has? Because Vaid Garungu did that to build for the family, build for the wife. He was sure Vaid Garungu nangu chipuba. Panje nereko temu saluda. Nangu Vaid Garungu chipuba. In... in in nine, in seven years, that was president. Surely, are you telling me? Kutiwa filo kuri dawa kashiva wo in um, fifteen flats. Are you telling me that? In your reasonable thinking, really, Bushewa Edgar Lungu for for seven years, but not nishirana kuri bu minister. Nishirana kuri bu nani kani? Kuri ba kuri bu when he was when he was a lawyer. Because a lot of you, when you talk about when you talk about Edgar Lungu, you think of Ed, Edgar Lungu ataf mina kuna nani kani kucha wama. I didn't want to go Edgar Lungu had properties. He had properties. Edgar Lungu. If you go to Chawama, you go and see that house where they used to live before they moved into a ministerial house. It's a big house. It's a big property. And a number of people, Edgar Lungu had sold a number of plots. A number of plots. He, I mean, if anything, he would have actually gone into real estate business. Because I know that a number of people bought Ama plots from Edgar Lungu before he was even a, a president. He had those properties before. And a number of people, I know people that have bought properties from Edgar Lungu. I know a complex, a complex where Edgar Lungu sold Ama plots. So really, he's, he was not in Chushkwati like you and I. Because the problem was that we were in Zambia. We were in Chushi when we were in Pali Bonsi. Panty was in Chushi. We were in Bonsi in Chushi. Panty where you cannot afford this. You also want to think that Dari cannot afford. No. To Alipusana. So Edgar Lungu had. Even before he became, he, he went into government. He went into government. Remember. I mean, people do a lot with gratuity. People do a lot with their salaries. I mean. Surely, with what we talk about, it's actually an embarrassment. We talk about vehicles, we talk about plots, we talk about houses. This is what we talk about. And it's not like they are big houses, whatever, whatever. They are not even community houses. They are not even like a house, like community house. Eh? They are not. So, when you hear the first lady and the children have been arrested, it is embarrassing, really. It is embarrassing. But all these things are happening not because of Van Tuan Kani, but Esther Lungu and the children. It is about Edgar Lungu. It is Edgar Lungu that they are persecuting. And why are they persecuting Edgar Lungu? They are persecuting Edgar Lungu because they have seen that Edgar Lungu 
definitely will win an election. It is a disputed fact. The more any day that we will have elections, Ed Galungwa came in, definitely is going to win an election. And don't even entertain the thought that Ed Galungu. Don't even entertain the thought that Ed Galungu will not be on the ballot because some of you think that Ed Galungu will not be on the ballot. Ed Galungu will be on the ballot. If he was on the ballot in 2021, why shouldn't he be on the ballot the next time we're going to have an election? Why? Why? What is going to stop Ed Galungu? That case that you are doing, Kudiakumana in constitutional court with your Kada judges, even you judges, I'm telling you, Imwaba Munarula. Chief Justice, eh? Chief Justice, Mumba Madila, Muipele, Muipele. I'm telling you, you are going to cause confusion the day that you are going to say Ed Galungu is not eligible to stand. You will be insulting Zambians. You will be insulting Zambians because Ed Galungu stood in 2026, in 2021. There is no way he's going to, to, uh, to fail to stand in the next election. There is no way. So, put yourself in order. Pandumuka. Katuishi. 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 Tamuaka pekali. Tamuaka pekali. You will bring confusion in that country. Because so far, in spite of the, 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 the weaknesses in Edgar Lungu, Zambians are, look, are looking at Edgar Lungu. The only hope that they have is Edgar Lungu. There is no one at the moment. There is no one. Edgar Lungu is the one that they are looking up to. Look at the young people, the way they are playing these songs. You know, the songs are playing on mama judges. Ask your children. You know, if you are not on social media, ask your children to show you just on social media how the Ed Galungu songs are played by these young people, how they are dancing to these songs. And that is a temperature. Go and see what is happening on social media. Social media is what tells you what is trending. When Bali was Bali, he was trending on social media. Bali no longer trends. He no longer trends. He no longer trends. If Bali trends on social media, it is a meme against him. So, mui pele, muema judges, mui pele, muema judges, ba munalula, ba mumba marila. I'm telling you, behave yourselves. Don't think that you are going to treat Edgar Lungu in the manner that you have handled the situation of Mao Samba. You are not going to do that. You are not going to do that. Don't. You will bring chaos in the country. You will bring chaos in the country because you would have killed the little hope that people have. The little hope that they have is Edgar Lungu. So if you mess around with Edgar Lungu, but to stop him from contesting, and I want you to draw lessons from what has happened in, in South Africa. You, I want you to draw lessons from what has happened in, in South Africa. Look at what Zuma went through. Look at what Zuma went through. Look at what Zuma went through. But if you look at Zuma and Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu has got more support than Zuma. But Zuma formed a political party within months and look at how it has performed. But for Edgar Lungu, he has more support. So learn from what has happened in South Africa. Learn from what has happened in South Africa. Zuma, uh, uh, there is a difference with Edgar Lungu. There is a difference. Edgar Lungu, people have been calling for Edgar Lungu three months into uh, the presidency of Haka in the Three months. Three months after the three months, people started saying, no, we want Edgar Lungu. We want Edgar Lungu. Some of us, we were monitoring it. And we went and told Edgar Lungu. That's why I went to Edgar Lungu. It is because I saw that people were already regretting they were already regret. That's why I went to Ayed Galungu. And the situation in South Africa, yes, things are bad in many areas, whatever, but the situation in Zambia is worse off. So, if you can see how Zuma has performed, what about Ed Galungu? What about Ed Galungu? What about Ed Galungu?
Ndemiewe Chishinka, Edgar Lungu, he is destined for presidency again. And Haka in the Ishlema will not stop it. Haka in the Ishlema wants to stop this. That's why he's arresting, he's instilling fear. He's instilling fear. And he's bothered by people like me who are outside and talking. I know they are working frantically. Frantically. They are working frantically to get Shilvatayari back into Zambia. But I will not come back to Zambia because Lisa Talala. I'll be here talking. And for you judges, Bamumba Marila, Bamuna Lula, eh, the judge president of Constitutional Court, don't play around with this issue. This issue is very sensitive. Edgar Lungu went through your courts, I think, three times. Three times. There is no way you are going to turn that judgment today. You are not going to change that judgment. So that you are kind of HNMA can go. You will bring chaos. But Zalomes, the chairperson for ECZ, you have to know that whatever manipulations that you are doing, you will not save Haka in the HLM. Haka in the HLM is gone. You will not save Haka in the HLM. Arresting the opposition, arresting the opposition, charging them with big crimes and whatever, we will not save Haka in the HLM. And I want to encourage Avena Morini Mabonga, Eva Nawakui, Muniazulu, just be strong. Just be strong. You people who are going to see them, tell them that I'm sending them messages. To say, let them be strong. Let them be strong. Ama sells the empire. Ama sells the empire. Takwa woke for. Bananikani, but in which fungo. But in which fungo. Why Merinka, but in which fungo. Merinka, man, she much fungo. She's not dead. It is the mind. If you just put your mind, you know, that I'm here and this is my life for now, you'll be fine. It is in the mind. Just be strong. Haka in the HDMI is going. Haka in the HDMI is going. So be strong. You opposition zoos, please be strong. Speak on these issues. They will arrest, they will arrest, they will arrest, but for how, for how long? Yes, I could actually be there to be arrested with you, but for me, in Ewakanjipaya, if they wanted to kill JJ, they, are, they have tried to kill me before. And honestly, you can bear with me. I would have been dead myself. Coming back to Zambia now means death for me. Because I'm like the most wanted person. So the day that, I will, that they will catch me, I don't think they will leave me alive. And that's why I'm asking. I'm asking for your support. I'm asking for your prayers. I'm asking for your support. I'm asking for your prayers. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.